welcome back to the Hermitcraft FTV server and now that we're back here at the base we've got some things and stuff and all sorts of things going on here and it's even sort of daytime but uh, anyway it's time to start getting some things moving in the direction of some technology so I'll break this down and so I need some iron and we're going to upgrade this furnace into an iron furnace because that will be more efficient with the fuel still other options will be forthcoming and more efficient later anyway I've got some of the silver, some copper, gold, and of course some iron smelted up. I don't want to over smelt, but I do want to have some of these things uh, smelted up ready. So I'm going to take say 16, 10, the remaining silver, what's left of the copper, and say uh, 8 more of the gold. And I'm going to go ahead and smelt those up and uh, we'll start getting some machines made up here real soon and I'll be back when this stuff is smelted alright we've got some daylight out there so while this finishes up with the last few things let's get out there and do something with these guys and by the way let's check out this force sword too because uh, just the name of it makes it sound like it's going to be a whole lot more powerful, stronger, etc. than uh, the more vanilla varieties. Alright, so, I've got some bone meal with me here. And let's pop this sucker down and bone meal it. I thought I switched that. First thing is to destroy the leaves and see if we have a resin spot. At least one, preferably. And I already see the bad news. No resin spot. And no additional saplings either. Alright, I'm going to extend this little platform out a little ways. yet decided whether this is going to be a permanent platform or not but uh, let's see double checking I don't see a resin spot I don't really even see one of those little knots that indicates it will have a resin spot so this tree is a waste of time well not completely because it gets me some more rubber wood which I can process into rubber later on so let's plant another one and hope this one has a resin spot or two or three and that we get more saplings off of it it's got the full size three leaf peak on top there's another couple of saplings that's great several more saplings. This is excellent. Much better progress than my first attempt. We have a resin spot. Excellent. So this is the first renewable source of rubber. And by the way, in response to those who have mentioned it, uh, Yes, I do plan to use MFR rubber trees from Mine Factory Reloaded. Uh, it's just a simple matter of right now, I'm going with the ones I know about and know how to find, know what they look like, and so on and so forth. And uh, I will be getting to the Mine Factory Reloaded trees probably soon. Let's get out there and get that rubber spot, that resin spot, because we need that. Because 
one of the first things that needs to be made. is going to be an extractor to get the most out of these trees. All right, let's put them three blocks apart. Hit this one. We have another resin spot. That we have to go into the water to recover, but that's all right. Oh, this one's got two. All right, I'm going to exercise the better part of uh, not being stupid and get inside for the night. Because there is some nasty stuff running around here, and I don't care to be involved with it right now. All right, what do we got here? We got five resin spots. Oh, boy. Okay, five resin spots makes, I believe, five actual rubber when smelted in a furnace. Okay, the gold is done. Let's throw the resin spots in there. Get six resin spots and I can start with an extractor, which is a circuit which needs six copper cables and uh, the stuff. Of course, I'm also going to need a source of power for this thing, which means I need a generator. Okay, let's see. Generator... I hate it when this thing rearranges stuff like that when I'm typing down here. Alright, a rechargeable battery, a machine block, and a furnace. Alright. Alright, that hasn't changed. And the rechargeable battery. Oh yeah, that's right. Re dash to get the rechargeable battery, and that's the same. Okay, so I need a grand total of seven rubber to get an extractor built and online. Now, rubber wood can be processed into rubber, but you need to run it through an extractor to do that. And so. It's back to the waiting game. I need daylight so I can get out there and uh, clear the rest of the leaves off of that tree, plant another one, and uh, harvest all the resin spots until I have enough rubber to build my machines. First up, a generator. Second up, an extractor. And while I'm waiting on that... Oh, doggone it, that is so irritating. While I'm waiting on that, I'm going to cut another room back here to put this stuff in. Okay, I was coming out here because I saw something and I wanted to be sure, and I was right. It did see this, and I was going to record it so I could show you all, but it happened too fast. Uh, the spider jumped down here and... Uh, Everything got out of hand before I could hit the uh, key to start recording. But what I saw... You've heard of a spider jockey? Where it's basically a skeleton riding a spider? Well, I just saw a creeper version of that. Where there was a creeper riding the spider. Talk about... Oh my god, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Ever. Oh man. Don't ever want to see a creeper riding around on anything. I mean, they're sneaky enough and quick enough moving as it is. You don't need that. Oops, I'll take that after I go into the water to get it. Oh, for crying out loud, I don't need the zombie turds. Alright, that's two, three more rubber. See if there's any more resin spots on this thing. There is not. I'm right, come over here. One, two, third block. Plant another one. All right, we have another resin spot. This is working great. This is great. Awesome. Excellent. All right. I'll deal with.
with the rest of those leaves later. Right now we need to get this rubber, the sticky resin processed into rubber. And let's start getting some technology on. Alright. Four sticky resin and that will very soon be more rubber. I've got a little room carved out here for placing some of these first machines and getting things going. Okay, I'll be back in just a moment. All right, everything's all processed. Let's get this show on the road. All right, we'll need some redstone and we need some of this tin. Oops, let's get some that going on right off the bat. And uh, since we don't have enough more rubber to do it the other way, we'll just do it this way. There's nine copper cables. That should be just enough. Okay. Tin. Two redstone copper cable, not two of them, just one. There's our battery. Okay, now we need a Alright, machine block and a furnace. Or an iron furnace and three refined iron. Okay. Let's just go with Three refined iron, and I know I'm wasting some coal here, I don't care. I'm going to more than make up for it real soon. So this furnace is going to become part of the generator along with these three pieces of refined iron. Alright, now the, uh, let's see, extractor. Uh, I need a machine block for that, so I'll need to go ahead and put in eight more iron. to get, um, get the refined iron for that and we're just about ready in fact let's go ahead well no I can't get the generator going I need that for it alright not a problem alright let's get this stuff moving towards being done first up we need an electronic circuit and some redstone I know there's an alternate recipe that gives you two of them per craft, and I'll be going with that fairly soon, I think. Alright, now we need four tree taps and a machine block. There's our machine block. Three taps. Machine block. Electronic circuit. We have an extractor. Alright, now we need our electric furnace, iron furnace, and we need three refined iron and the battery. And then we have a generator. Okay. And I'll be revisiting this very soon. Well, wait a minute. Let's, I got enough copper cable here. Let's see. Actually, I got enough copper cable for two of these. Alright. Not a problem. I was going to make a bat box, but I need one more bit of copper cable to do that with. So that'll have to wait just a little while. Alright, let's get in here. First up, uh, pop the generator right there. The extractor will go right next to it so that we don't need to run cable to power it. 
and now let's go ahead and throw some coal in the generator and throw some rubber wood in the extractor. This is going to be a slow process, so I'm going to go ahead and feed all the rubber wood and these sticky resin that I have in there, because each sticky resin will become three rubber rubber spots. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and put that in next. And this one, go ahead and craft that with a piece of wire, another cable, and let's go make another battery and get that bat box made. Oh, okay. Alright. Oops, I need one more cable, which means the rubber for that should just about be ready for it right now. This will very soon not be such a problem, but... Problems can be plentiful when you're first getting started out, but they don't last very long. Alright, go ahead and process that rubber wood. And let's see... Meanwhile, back at the ranch, uh, dog on caps lock. Okay, I need this wrench. Okay, that's not going to be the. Oh, there's two different kinds of bronze. There's the one I'm looking for. All right, bronze, bronze blend or bronze dust. Pulverized tin and pulverized copper. Well, I don't have pulverizer just yet. Although, come to think of it, it shouldn't be very difficult to get one made. Let's look it up real quick. Pulverizer. Okay, machine frame. That's dirt simple. Let's go ahead and get that made up. Alright. A couple of flint, a piston, redstone reception coil. Yes, I'm ignoring that spider out there because he's irrelevant. Redstone reception coil, and I believe that's copper down there. We have a pulverizer. All right. And we will have copper cable to hook it all up with very soon. the bat box like so oh its output dot is not on the bottom dot gone it it'll have to sit there until I get the wrench all right pulverizer and some copper cable to move power a 
wait a minute. No. This bleeding thing works on Minecraft, uh, Buildcraft energy. Ah. Uh. Alright. I'll be right back after I refresh myself on what I need to do with that thing. Alright, I've got it figured out. Now, I don't want to have to do multiple different kinds of power, at least right now, until I have to. So I'm going to take this down, I'm going to break it down, which is a pain to do with a pick. I need to get a wrench made for that, or a crescent hammer, I believe it is, or the omni wrench, or some kind of thing like that. Alright, so for power, I'm going to go with the energy bridge thing, and we'll take and use this industrial craft power to power this build craft powered device. So, energy bridge, glass, gold, redstone, and a diamond. And my diamonds are all down below. I'll have to go get those. So we got the glass, we've got the redstone, we've got the gold. I'll go get the diamond, and I'll be right back. Well, I see our friends are still on the roof. Well, I hope they enjoy themselves. Got the diamond. All right, let's go ahead and get this put together. We only need one energy bridge. Thank you very much. All right, now we need a... producer type device and that's going to be the build craft producer which is made by converting a consumer need a sterling engine alright let's get a piston first alright and sterling engine no we don't have everything for it apparently Oh, the gears. Alright, let me make up some gears. Stone gears, piston, glass engine. Okay. There we go. There's our engine. There's our BC consumer. Okay. IC2 low voltage consumer. That's what we need. We need an LV transformer. I need to pull that stuff out of there before I do anything. There we go. And there's our low voltage consumer. All right. A bit around the bend, but we're getting there. All right. I'm going to cut a little pathway back here for the wiring behind or the guts of everything. So, we'll take our low voltage consumer, drop it there, energy bridge goes here, and our build craft consumer becomes a BC producer, and we drop it there. Alright. Okay, that, that'll work. Now we take some... the output dot on this blasted thing. 
It must be up against the flipping generator, which is exactly the wrong place for it to be. Alright, well, I guess I have to break it and replace it. And this time, hope that I can do it right. Well, that was closer, but it was still wrong. But tells me I can do this. All right, good. We've got a wire coming out, or a spot coming out there. That'll do. Let's get some wire there, there, and there. And actually, we don't need that one just yet. Let's put some light up there just for giggles. All right, now. I hadn't anticipated this being that deep like that, but the easiest way to connect this is going to be to go like this. Pulverizer is now charging and active, which means I can now take my goodies and start pulverizing to double my ore. Alright, that's a start. What we got in here? More copper cable. More, well, it's going to be copper cable. Alright. Okay, now... Just thinking about that. Um, I did kind of want to run this underneath. insisting on facing the wrong direction every time. Alright, how about this? There we go. That is what I wanted. Alright, go ahead and plug this back up. And now the copper cable can run down here for industrial craft machines to be powered. Well, actually, the bat box is not charging. Oh, well, there's no fuel in the generator. All right, it's taking a charge. Power is going in here to run this thing which means I need to just go ahead and fuel up the generator. Alright, we have pulverized copper. And let's see, we have some iron. Let's go ahead and pulverize that. And I know there's some other material around here somewhere. Tin, gold, more iron. Yeah, I'm going to be busy pulverizing some stuff. And in the meantime, I will be taking occasional trips outside to tend to the tree farm and work on that. Meanwhile, there's a certain amount of waiting game going on. Unavoidable. Unpleasant, but really unavoidable. All right. So, we're on the way here. And yes, I will be getting some piping and automating going on, but for right now, the fact that we're just doubling the ore is good enough for me. Just cooking up another piece of refined iron in a new iron furnace, which is now going to become an electric furnace, courtesy of the refined iron. Two bits of that. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot one step. I need some more copper cable so that I can make another circuit. And that's why I needed the refined iron. Alright. Basically, we need the electric furnace circuit 
iron furnace, and two redstone. Oh, there's my circuit. Iron furnace, two redstone. We have an electric furnace now. All right, let's some more copper cable. Copper cable is not the most efficient way to transport power, but right now it is the most convenient. Alright, copper cable here and here. Electric furnace there. It's got power. So I'm going to take some of this stuff and drop it in here to be processed and as soon as I have a little bit more processed stuff back we'll be going to another level okay got a bunch of stuff refined here I'm gonna throw some more iron in the furnace there check that one top off the coal supply I do have plenty more coal but let's get to this first we need another bat box Oh, wait a minute. Getting ahead of myself. Let's get some batteries made. And now let's do the bat box. Okay, now we need a circuit for which I prepared some refined... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, refined iron, some redstone, there's the circuit. Alright, circuit, bat box, and... I, is that... No, 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 no. Okay, got ahead of myself. I need to refine some iron. Four more should do it. Alright, there we go. Throw that back in there. Okay, now where was I? Oh yes, electronic circuit. That box. Oh, wait a minute. Still missing one more thing. A couple of glowstone. Which conveniently can be found in mine shafts now. As in where you're digging a branch mine down on low levels you could find glowstone dust. Wait a minute. Circuit, refined iron, glowstone. Okay, somebody explain to me why that doesn't work. Oh, advanced circuit. Okay, that means I need to dig up some lapis. I'm pretty sure I've got some around here somewhere. Alright, I'll be back. I'm heading down to the mine shaft for some lapis. Alright, it taken me actually uh, a little over half an hour to find that uh, lapis because it turns out that I hadn't found any. And in a half an hour, I mined out another, f half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that, mined out another four full branches on two different levels, and finally found a measly ten lapis. I hope that's not an indication of how uh, difficult that stuff is going to be to find. But, now we can take this circuit... Oh, no, wait a minute. What am I thinking? Well, obviously I wasn't thinking. Two lapis, two glowstone, and four redstone. One advanced circuit. Now we take that and combine it with the bat bomb. Just a second. 
two more glowstone. All right, advanced circuit, bat box, four refined iron, two glowstone dust, and we have us an electric jetpack. All right, whoa. What's with that glitchy thing with the blocks there? All right, let's just drop it into the bat box. Charge that bad boy up. Well, I guess I should probably throw some coal into the generator. Which means I have to go back downstairs to get the coal, because I've got like three stacks of it down there, and I forgot to bring it up. Okay, generator is running now. And the jetpack is charging. And I'll be back when that sucker is done, because then we're going to go flying. Meanwhile, I'm going to eat something. All right, one fully charged jetpack. All right, let's see if I remember the controls correctly. Okay, that works. All righty. Let's take her for a spin. And hover mode for conserving power. All right, this is more like it. This is great. I like this. I much prefer flying as an acceptable means of getting around because, well, it's a lot safer up here as long as you keep an eye on how much power your jetpack has left. Okay, while I'm out and about, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I remembered to bring my axe and a spare. I'm going to cut a tree or two or three and restock my wood supply. And next time out, we'll get some more going on. Like perhaps a backup power supply for when the uh, coal supply isn't very good and stuff like that. So, let's see, is that ordinary? Yeah, that's ordinary oak wood. Okay. So, cutting a tree from the very top, which is my favorite way to do it. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.